Don't ever apologize for who you are. Stop it. Don't ever do that again. Listen, I'm going to make this real quick. There were years that I used to apologize to myself for being overweight, for being heavy. And when I look at my family and my lineage, I am built exactly like my father's mother. And she was born in, in the 1800s. Now, when you look at how God created you, okay, whatever you look like, whether you like it or not, ask God to give you an appreciation for who you are. Because as long as you don't appreciate it, you will always be apologizing to somebody else for what you consider a flaw. Now listen, I was married to my husband for 15 years. He had to go on dialysis during the last five or six. I'll say during the last eight or ten years about marriage. Here's the trip. When they have to do the fistula on the arm, they do a surgery. And they connect a major vein with a major artery. But after a while, all those shots that they get start to create scar tissue. And things start to lump up and almost looks like a growth coming out from under the skin. You know, like they're getting ready to grow a branch or something. But listen, it was ugly to look at. The scar was ugly. The, 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 the skin color was discolored. It was dark and light and, and, and it was red. It was all kind of colors in the skin. My husband had beautiful skin, but that was an ugly sight. But do you know what? That kept my husband alive. And it became precious to me. And I would kiss it. I would kiss that part of his arm because I loved my husband so much that even that was cute to me. When you have the right person who loves you, I mean genuinely, loves you unconditionally, there will be no flaw that they can't love and appreciate. Everything will about you will be beautiful, cute, or adorable to them. Because love covers a multitude of sin. It just covers. And when you look through the eyes of love, things that may not be attractive in the natural become so adorable and so cute and so pretty. Because you're looking through the eyes of your heart. You never have to settle. You don't have to bow. You don't have to apologize. You don't have to sell out to get some guy or some female because you want to, you know, you don't think you're good enough for them. So, you know, you'll do whatever it takes to keep them. Oh, no, you better not. You better sit your little uh, uh, in a hurry behind down. Sit your fanny down. Nobody is worth you giving up your identity to keep somebody? Oh no, baby, you can't keep them being you. You can't keep them being whoever you think you're going to try to be. It will never work. My sister-in-law told me this one time. She said, oh, I dated a, a guy years ago and, and he I had nice thick hair and I would wear my hair long and I had these, uh, I used to wear certain types of earrings and he complimented a woman who had dangling earrings and he said, oh, I like the way that looks on women. So what did I do? I ran out, got those kind of earrings. Then next thing, he looked at a woman who had her hair dyed kind of a reddish brown. Oh, I like that color. My hair was more like black. Okay. Well, I like that color. That's a pretty color on, on women. And I went out and got my hair dyed. Now, listen to this. The woman, I, I didn't do this. Mm -mm. <laughs> this woman did that for this man because she thought whatever he wanted, I will become that. Oh, no. Does that sound crazy to you? D do you hear what I'm talking about? No, you don't do that. If you're heavy and you're getting ready to get married, Oh, don't try to lose no 50 pounds to get no wedding gown. You know, in two months, you're going to be back up to where you were when he first was attracted to you in the first place. 
Be who you are. If you want to lose weight, lose for your health, not for a man. If a man complains about your weight, walk. Because you know what? Give him a little time without you. Let him know how much more important you are than just your looks. And if he marries you for your looks, baby, oh, you're in a bad way anyway. Because age and the years and pregnancy and all that other stuff is going to change a whole lot of stuff on you and on him. Okay? And you men... When you have wives that have had your children and they start getting that, they, uh, what they call their baby fat. <laughs> and it's hard to get off after you get to a certain age. Don't you dare open your mouth and comment about how pretty she used to be when she was small and cute and sexy and shapely and fine. What happened? How you let yourself go? You just shut your mouth. Don't you dare abuse her with put-downs like that. You probably haven't looked in the mirror lately, but she's probably putting up with a whole lot of changes that's happening in you, and she's not complaining. So you shut your mouth, and if you can't seem to get it together, ask God to help you see your wife through his eyes. And ask God to help you love your wife through God's heart. In marriage, it's natural to start to feel a little dry. Well, you know, you ain't that crazy about them. But guess what? All you got to do is say, Lord, rekindle. I need a rekindling. Come on. Bring on some good love juice, some, 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 some happy powders. <laughs> God will do it. You'll find yourself falling in love all over again. And nothing's changed except you. Okay? You got to learn what real love is. It's not looks, baby. It's not sex. Because when the sex dies and they have strokes and, 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 uh, and they have sicknesses and, 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 and you men become impotent, your wife is going to still be there with you now, isn't she? So don't you dare have a negative thing to say if she has an extra roll or some cellulite that she didn't have when y'all got married. It shut your mouth. And if you're all that worried about size and looks, you look at her mother and her grandmother and her relatives before you hook up. And if you don't like the way they look in their middle age, guess what? That's what you're looking at with this beautiful, fine woman when she gets old. You don't like it? Go somewhere else and let her find someone who will truly love her. You get out the way. All right, I'm done fussing. God bless all you guys. To find the right one. To be as fortunate as I. Because I had a phenomenal man. Anyway, moving right along. God bless you.